Welcome to Monday Night Live at Kadan, the unlimited and unending <laughs> loop of YouTube. Yes, you can get the next install. So I have time for one more song. sing on the chorus on this song. And, uh, this is a song I learned many years ago by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I can see you by your coat, my friend. You're from the other side. Can you tell me please?
John. Probably the best guest so far. Let me know when you're muted. John, that was pretty awesome, man. I hope that was on your film. I think that was. Was it? After all the malfunctions at the junction, a little uh, David Crosby tune, a little uh, Jefferson Airplane, a little, uh, you know, uh, couldn't quite get those long breathy sevenths that Grace used to do, but well, she doesn't do them either. So. Uh, Sore. My horror isn't knocking at my door. I think I've become a bore. I, so, I feel so rotten to the core since I feel that I was with her last score. It's so quiet in here. I do miss her roar when we were fucking like rabbits on the floor. Whenever we came like a fucking ocean, all we did was beg for more. Now that she's gone, I think I'm going to start a war. I'm going out on a bitter binge by shooting up a syringe. Maybe I'll rob a bank. Or maybe I will mastermind a relationship prank. I'm drowning in tears while listening to the blues and sipping horse piss beers. I can't swim when I'm imprisoned by fear. Nothing means more anything in the world without you, baby. The past and the future is a joke to me now that you're not here. You don't understand. She just wasn't a call girl. She was my butterfly. My whole world. Thank you. Hey, this is actually a new one that I wrote last week that I'm very, very, very proud that I wrote. This one's called My Abyss. I'm so tired of walking up these hills, sporting for buffalo slaughter. I wish somehow I could have gills. I want to live underwater. With my new gills and my new fresh gills, I can live in a peaceful world without gills. I'm a new resident of millions of unknown mammal species at the Earth's bottom core. And already, I've already met my beloved seaman poor. Her name is Abyss. The moment my ears heard her name, my heart was a total bliss. She is the real deal. She will not play with my heart like a game. The evidence is in every inch of my body that I feel. I am so punch drunk and smitten. 
Now that I'm married to the most beautiful girl, I can't imagine reciting in another world. I feel like an unknown species of a marine kitten, swimming in the oceans of lust, sprinkling fairy dust to the Maui dolphins, helping our world become rather crisp, fresh, and softened. Thank you. This one's called Subterfuge. Believing in God isn't that easy. We have salespersons that provide their own pitch. They call it truth where I call it sleazy. No one is, in no one is interested in your propaganda, bitch. Who are they to sell their lies? No one gets punished, no rewarded. So stop calling heaven a prize. Stop calling hell sorted. We've never been to either place before. We've only heard rumor of its decor by inverting delusions, building diffusions. Believing in ourselves isn't that easy. Everyone else feels like they know what's best for us, like they were, we are their puppets and dolls. Fuck them and all their fuss. Where did they get the cynicism, scorn, and balls to speak for us and let alone run, run our simple lives? They're the lonely. They're the ones without who are needy. They're the ones without husbands and wives. Being faithful isn't that easy. We've reached the brink of dissatisfaction to the people who we found once to be breezing. The wealth is down to zero, which now kills the physical attraction. We want more and more and more. We're still looking for the next score. Now, whom the fuck? Where to make our own luck? It's hard starting from scratch. Now that we sold out, how are we ever gonna find our new match? Our names in the phone book are listed as liar, cheater, whore, adulterer, hypocrite, pathetic, shameless, selfish, gutless, coward, Believing in love isn't that easy, where hearts are infected with lies injected, contaminating our tummies, feeling queasy. How do we get the poison out? Who's ever going to care for the cries that we shout? Everyone passes the buck by not giving a fuck. All we've done is wrong, love the wrong people who don't love us back. We can't help giving the benefit of doubt to strangers, even if we're gambling with the dangers. It's called integrity, something in which all of you lack. Yes, we're cynical. Yes, our depression is clinical. Yes, we're bitter. Yes, someone robbed our glitter. Yes, yes our we depression are is clinical. Yes, yes, we're bitter. Yes, someone robbed our glitter. glitter. Yes, we are betrayed. Yes, we're <laughs> feeling nope. have been charade. Do you blame us? <laughs> nope. Not at all. This one's called Death Has Conquered True Love. Why did you have to die? You were my angel of naughty, as I was your clandestine spy. I couldn't stop surveying your body. Nothing else was worthy to look. I examined you thoroughly. I did everything by the book. Now that you're gone, I do miss you, surely. Oh, how I miss you so much. Now that you're in a state of infinite slumber, where am I going to go? Who else am I going to touch? No one wants to take a number. Oh, how I miss your beautiful lost eyes, especially when I wiped away the cries. Now that I have leftover tissues, I'm going to start crying lonely tears over my new issues. Oh, how I miss your ripe lips, even when you prefer the chains and whips and the thrills of not getting caught in public by the cops. But I found that golden kisses to be more important than the props. Oh, how I miss your incredibly soft hands. Whenever I longed to caress them, it gave me reasons to live, to never start and running out of plans because we had a future. You were my ultimate gem. Oh, how I miss when we used to finger fuck. You were so moist when you came like an ocean. It was that moment where lightning had strike. I really loved you. I never cheated using a potion. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> that was great, Romero. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Uh, next up. It's a cold night tonight. Uh, yeah, and this is Chuck, just Chuck. Uh, but I'll tell you, I missed that last tail end of what were you saying? It goes like this uh, I, Worker bees can leave. It's five syllables. Even drones can fly away. The queen is their slave. 
That was by Jack, by the way. And I am Jack's spoken word introduction. <laughs> but uh, I need to warm up a little bit. Rock out, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to start off uh, tonight with a, a song uh, going out to my sister in Texas. Junkie. 
Well, thank you. Thank you very much. That was Chuck. That was uh, just Chuck. Chuck, just Chuck. Or next up, Chuck. Uh, <laughs> he told me that joke. I, I can't help it. Okay, next up, we have uh, uh, a Kevin. Kevin Bad Boy Bailey. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. 
seven times over my phone.
That was Amy, and then that was... Um, Thank you. 
Turn this damn thing off. 